Hi, this is Brian with Profitless Media and Post. I recently had a comment on one of my other videos about how to rotate the pivot point so you can move the object on a specific angle and thought I'd put together a quick video to help anybody else that's looking for this information. So in this quick tip video, we're going to talk about a couple of methods for rotating our pivot point so we can move our shape or mask at an angle and keep it locked to that angle. Okay, so let's add in a rectangle. And you can see we have our pivot point in the center. Pivot is always locked to X and Y. So if I grab the X, you can see that it's just gonna, no matter where I move my mouse, it's gonna lock to the X. Same with the Y. So, but I wanna be able to rotate this and move it along this axis. So even if I go to rotate it, you can see that the pivot point still stays, stays locked to the X and Y options. So if I, I mean, I can grab the center of this and I can move it into an angle, whichever angle I want, which is fine for animating. But if you want to be precise, there's a couple different ways you can go about it. So let's set this back to its default. Uh, the first method is using transforms. So we'll grab a transform, two of them, and the rectangle. We're going to rectangle into the input of the transform one and then transform one and transform two. We'll take a look at that. And the way this works is that the second transform will be the angle in which you'll move uh, whatever aim, angle you wanna to lock to, but the first transform will be how you move it. So let's go into the second transform, put in maybe 30 or something. And now let's go back to the first transform. And now if we use either the center point X and Y to move it, or the arrows here will do the same thing and it will be locked to whatever angle we put here. So if I grab the X here, you can see now, no matter where I move it, it's locked to that 30 degree angle. Same with the Y in the opposite direction. So no matter where I move, it's locked into that 30 degree angle. So let's delete that. So that's one way of doing it. Another way you can do it is actually inside the rectangle. In this method, we're going to use a modifier. So let's add a modifier to the center. So if we go to the center inside of our rectangle, right click and go to modify with XY path. And once we do that, you can see up here, this highlights. That means we have a modifier over here. And if we click on there, you can see we have a bunch of options here to modify our path. So for this one, so we want to change the angle to 30. And now I change the angle to 30 here, but you know that it's the difference. When I use the transform, it actually transformed the whole shape. And you can compensate that with the two transform nodes. You get the same result by using a negative angle number, and you could even link them together if you wanted to. So you can get the same results. Now that we have our angle, we can use these X and Y values to move it locked onto that angle. So this is just another way to do it. And the, and the Y, same thing, would be just the opposite. Those are just a couple ways to move your objects locked to a different angle. As with everything in Fusion, there are probably other ways. If you have some other ways, please comment below. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial, and I'll see you again in the next video.